I am totally biased, but I believe that every single business should have a website, and that includes you if you want a full-time coaching business. Today, I am going to reveal the eight must-haves to make it a highly converting coaching website based on a hero's journey. So if that's what you want to learn, keep watching. and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to simplify their marketing so that they can get seen, get hurt, and get paying client and turning this passion for coaching into a profitable business. Today, we're going to talk about the eight must-haves on your website so that you can get more paying clients on demand. Now, I may be totally biased, but I think that Every business, including you as a coach, need to have a website where you can send majority of your audience to follow you and check out more of what you do on this website. Now, you may be saying, well, you know, Michelle, there's so many social media uh, platforms nowadays. Do I actually need to have a website? And the answer is yes, because a lot of business and clients are still looking for a legitimate go-to expert who looks proper and put together. So I want you to think about your website as this virtual shop and warehouse where a lot of your potential clients who don't know much about you, they might not know that you have a Facebook profile and you have a LinkedIn profile. They may go and search you directly on search engine like Google and they're searching your name or they're searching your title, a business coach or a marketing coach or a life coach and mindset coach. And most of the time, the first thing that pop up is either your website or something that you have shared that you have put together as a blog post. And so those are the things that are searchable. Now, imagine yourself looking for an expert and all this expert does is just send you to a social media post. What if the social media account gets shut off? Then you're kind of being seen as this pop-up person that just pop out of nowhere and you happen to have this social media platform where you claim that you are an expert in doing life coaching or mindset coaching. So for the long run and for your business sake, I really think that there's so much value in having a website. Now, not all websites are created equal, right? Some website you get more click and other website, it just feels like it's sitting there collecting virtual dust. So today I'm going to cover eight must-haves on your website. And I'm also going to include a checklist to the end of this video. So if you wanna stick around, I'll let you know where you can download that. So first and foremost, you probably have spent a lot of time working on this already, and that is your hero statement. Or most of us, we understand it as elevated pitch. So you probably have been struggling with it and you came up with it, you changed so many versions of it, that I help statement is your hero statement. So the hero statement is the first thing that your visitor is going to see and watch, right? So you need to clearly articulate who you help, what you do, what is the transformation that you're providing so that your visitor who's coming to the website can see themselves through the statement that you're providing. And so if you're struggling with that, I have the resource, I'll link it to the description box down below, and this is going to help you to craft your perfect elevator pitch, okay? So once you work on that elevator pitch, you're ready to have that hero statement to be displayed on the very top portion of your website. So that is the first must have on your website, your hero statement. So again, if you're struggling with it, I have a resource down below in the description box you can download, and that's going to help you to create that elevator pitch. The second must have on your website is you want to emphasize the problem or the struggle or the challenge that your audience or your target avatar is experiencing. Like what is their struggle? Why do they need your help? What are some of the things that they're going through that is totally unnecessary if only they have you in their life? So what is the problem that you're helping them to solve? And so you want to make sure that you connect with them in a very empathetic way, right? We're not here to hurt anyone. We're not here to like poke the bear so much that the bear actually bleed to death 
that. That's not our intention here. We want to demonstrate that we understand and we can empathize with what they're struggling, what they're going through. So that is the second must have on your website. You must be able to emphasize what is that problem that they're experiencing and how it's creating a lot of resistance, how it's been keeping them stuck, all these great information that you are doing as a coach, those are the information that goes to that second must have, which is the hero's problem, right? The hero is going through some challenge. And so you want to be able to point it out. What is that challenge and what is that problem? So that's the second must have. The third must have is now that you point out here are the problem that they have. And like I said, you don't want to poke the bear so much that the bear actually bleeds to death. So you want to be able to provide the solution. Now, how, who's, going, who's going to come in here and, and be the person who can help them and provide the solution? That would be you. So you wanted to position yourself as someone who understand their pain, who can empathize with them, and you have the solution to help them to accomplish what is it that they want to accomplish. So the third piece and must have is you want to have that positioning. You want to have a positioning statement. Again, you can re-emphasize that this is who I help with what and so that they can do this. And so remember to position yourself as the expert, as the go-to person, because you might have gone through some um, stories on a personal journey so just highlight those so that you can position do a brand positioning now if you need uh, more information on the brand positioning I have a video down below I'm going to link it so that you can go to it all right so the number four must have on your website is once you tell them about who you are then you want to give them a plan right what do you suggest if you have the solution, what do you suggest? So you wanted to give them the plan. So typically most coaches will understand this as this is my methodology. So here are my methodology of how I take you from step one all the way to step two and three and maybe up to five. Anything that's more than five, it gets too cluttered and so your message you get lost. So keep it small, keep it concise. Tell them about the plan. What are some of the actionable steps that they need to take in order to become successful, in order to feel the the transformation that they want. So you wanted to have this outline of what is it that they need to accomplish and achieve their goal. And that is the number four must have is you need to have a plan for them. What is your suggested solution? And then following that, the fifth must have is you need to have a call to action. Now you want to be intentional about what your call to action is. And I see this all the time on a lot of coaches website. They have a, a book a call with me. They have a service page. They have options, they have lead magnet. And so when your potential client land on your website, people are confused when you give them too, op too many options. Exactly what do you want me to do? What's your intention behind this website? And this is something that I cover inside my Profitable Coach Formula is that when you have the call to action, you want to be clear and you want to make sure that the intention of where you want to take your audience to, you're taking them there, right? So you're not giving them too many options to linger around or to explore around. And so when you do that, you lose them. So you're clear to action either to be book a call or maybe it's download my freebie or sign up to the webinar. Um, so what is that one call to action that you want this website do for you? So for example, if you go to my website, it's clearly I want to build a email list. So on my website, you're going to see a lot of free offer, lead magnets, or whatever you want to call it. It's about giving the resources so that in exchange, I would love to have your email, right? So that is my call to action. And you're going to see that very intentionally displayed throughout my whole entire website. So I want this the same for you. What do you want your website to do? And that would be your ultimate call to actions. If you want people to go to your website and book a call, then let that be your intention of booking a call. So you want to make sure that your button is clearly displayed and it is sprinkled throughout the whole entire website copy and where it is appropriate. So that is really important and that's a must have. So if you have too many things scattered around, then scatter brain won't buy. And that's the same for your website. So that's the number five must have. All right, so number six is to highlight successful stories. If you have clients that you work with and they're happy and they're providing you with testimonial, be sure to use those and sprinkle them throughout your whole website. Most of the time, how I help my clients when they do their website co content and copy is that I help them to identify what are some of the highlights that people need to know about in through this testimonial. 
So you want to be able to showcase your happy clients on this website, and that will actually demonstrate some real world result, right? Real world experiences for the people who's visiting this website. So you want to make sure that you do have a collection of testimonial that you can use onto your website. Step number seven is to resolve any objections or fears that your potential clients or your potential audience may have. And now a lot of coaches put this FAQ section, right? The frequently asked question section as if you don't know what life coaching is, I'm going to explain it to you here. But that's not really what matters to your visitor. What truly matters to your visitor is can I trust you? Are you someone who's trustworthy, right? So maybe in your FAQ, your frequently asked question, it's not about explaining what life coaching is. They can easily Google this information by going to Google and ask what is life coaching. So you don't want to waste that valuable space by answering something that's so mundane that they can search for somewhere else. What you want to focus on is to be able to resolve the hesitation, the objection, the fear of signing up with you. Maybe they don't have the money. Maybe they don't have the budget. And, or maybe you're charging too much. So what are some of the fear or hesitation that your audience is experiencing that stops them from actually signing up to your coaching service? Identify some of those and put that into your frequently asked question instead of very general information like what is life coaching. That's something that you don't want to do. And that's something that will not convert someone from a visitor to a paying client. Okay, so this is really important. If you're doing anything else, this is probably a good chance to drop that and come back and just listen for a minute. You don't want to waste your valuable space and time in creating a frequently asked questions without addressing your audience objection. What are some of the objection? I don't have the time to actually sign up with you. So be able to address that. I don't have the money to sign up to coaching. Be able to address that. And so those are the important things that you want to address in the frequently asked question and not the general, what is life coaching? That's a waste of space. So make sure you fix that and be aware of that. And that's not something that you wanted to do. All right. Number eight, the last must have on your website is you want to provide more resources. And now one of the video I cover in the past is about how to deliver a value-based marketing and value-based marketing is about creating content that is helpful to your audience. So especially if you're a coach, you want to provide more information so that you can actually build that know, like, and trust with your audience so that they can actually explore more in terms of the service that you're providing in terms of the offer that you're giving them. So, you might want to consider on your website to have a blog section or a podcast section where you're providing values over time and building that trust, no like factor. And not only that, when you have a blog, you also allow the search engine to pick up all the valuable resources and information from your website. So the longer that someone is hanging out on your website, the more likely they're going to click that button and book a call with you. So let's summarize what are the eight must have on your website. And I promise you, I'm going to give you the resource at the end of this video. So number one is you want to make sure that you have a captivating hero statement, which is your elevator pitch. So if you're still uh, working on that elevator pitch, I have the resource in this uh, description box down below, and you can uh, pick up a copy to work on your perfect elevator pitch. So first must have is your elevator pitch or your hero statement. Second is to be able to empathize what your avatar, your hero is struggling with. So the problem that your hero have, and then you want to make sure that you're positioning yourself as the coach, as the guy, as the mentor, as someone who has a solution to help them to overcome their hurdle. Following that, you want to make sure you have a plan. So it could be your methodology. It could be the action steps in order for your hero, for that person to uh, experience the transformation or the result that person wants to receive. And then you want to make sure that you have a call to action. What is it that you want your audience to do? To book a call with you, to download your free resource, to go watch a YouTube video. What is it that you want them to do? And then you want to make sure that you sprinkle all these testimonials throughout your website to make sure that you have these highlighted success 
story to share. Plus, if you're going to have a frequently asked question, be sure those valuable space is provided to address their objection, their fear, their hesitation from signing up with you. And then lastly, you wanted to make sure to have a resource section. So maybe it's a blog post, maybe it's a podcast, whatever you do, that does not stop you from providing value to your ideal clients so that they can come back to you for more. Now, these are the eight things that you must have on your website in order for this to be a highly converting website. Now, I put together a checklist for you so that you can go through the checklist and identify for yourself what are some of the steps that you need to tidy up in order to make your website a complete website that is highly converting. So how you get this checklist is you simply going to write, okay? You're going to write to Michelle at elevatelifecoaching.org with a subject line checklist and i will send you a copy of the checklist the website hero's journey checklist so that you can go through step by step of what goes on to your website okay so let me just repeat the way that you get this checklist is you're going to send me an email at michelle at elevatelifecoaching.org and you're going to put in the subject line checklist and I will personally send you a copy of this checklist so that you can go through your website to make sure that your website is highly converting. So all you have to do is send me an email and I will send you the checklist and I will see you in the next video.